Prime Minister legalized smoking meth in hospital rooms, shooting up heroin in parks next to children, using hard drugs on public transit. The, pub the British Columbia government has asked him to reverse this legalization for parks, hospitals, and transit. Will he? Yes or no? The opioid epidemic is hitting families, communities, and individuals right across this country and has for many, many years. That's why we are continuing to use uh, a uh, an approach grounded in compassion, in uh, public safety and public health, uh, and uh, facts-based decisions. Uh, we responded to British Columbia governments uh, asking for a pilot project. Uh, we will, yes, work with them to adjust it in ways that they see fit. Uh, it's important to make sure uh, that BC continues uh, to do the things that it needs to do to keep people safe in its jurisdiction. Bill refuses to answer the question on whether or not he will reverse himself. He made the decision to exempt hard drugs from the criminal law so that it became legal to smoke meth or crack in a hospital room, including around nurses who are breastfeeding their kids. This has caused chaos and six British Columbians are dying every day that he delays. So will he announce that as of today, he's changed his mind and he's reversing his legalization of hard drugs in BC, yes or no? There is no time to waste. The BC government asked him to reverse his, le his legalization of crack, heroin, and other hard drugs in public places on Friday. Every day, six British Columbians die of overdoses under this policy, and many more die as a result of drug-induced crimes. So. There are, is no time for bureaucratic and political considerations. Will he announce now that his experiment with legalizing hard drugs in BC is over? Yes or no? You will uh, understand if I take it with a little skepticism when the leader of the opposition says uh, this is not about politics because uh, he has been the one uh, that has been pointing out vulnerable people and trying to uh, pursue uh, ideological aims on this ongoing public health crisis. We have consistently stepped up to work with provinces, with municipalities, with jurisdictions, indeed, uh, including by moving forward with British Columbia uh, as they wanted to try a pilot project, uh, that we are working with them to adjust in ways that make sense. We understand the urgency and we will act. But given the new, more reasonable tone of the Leader of the Opposition, I wonder if he might take this opportunity to reassure Canadians that he does not support uh, extremist uh, white nationalist organizations like Diagalong, nor wants their votes. That is false. And furthermore, there are six people dying every day in British Columbia. There is a 380 percent increase in overdose deaths in that province under this Prime Minister's legalization and subsidization of hard drugs. Enough trying to score political points over the issue. Do the right thing. It is on his desk. Will he announce today that he has changed his mind and reversed legalization of hard drugs? Yes or no? And worse still, he's now considering decriminalizing hard drugs in Toronto. The City Hall has made a formal request for him to use powers under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act to do in Canada's biggest city what he already did in British Columbia. Today I wrote him a letter asking him to, to change his mind and reverse his position and make clear that he will not legalize hard drugs on buses and in hospitals in Toronto. Unfortunately, we see fear-mongering going on by the Leader of the Opposition right now. Uh, I will recall for people that a number of years ago, the City of Vancouver approached us with a desire to decriminalize in their city, and we said, no, we would not do that for Vancouver. We work with provinces and public health systems. That is why we move forward uh, it, with British Columbia on a pilot project they wanted. Uh, in regards to any other province, whether it be Quebec or Ontario or anywhere else, we will work with the governments in place on proposals they may or may not have to deal with the opioid epidemic. That's all. 
But the Leader of the Opposition has not answered Canadians' concerns about why he will not condemn Diagonal, the far-right extremist organization, why he will not reject the endorsement of Alex Jones, noted conspiracy theory. He has not answered the question uh, whether he would expand decriminalization elsewhere. Uh, he's using vague references to jurisdictions, but it was it's his jurisdiction alone to grant exemptions under the Controlled Drug and Substances Act. So, will he admit that his real plan is to take the decriminalization of hard drugs that he imposed on British Columbia and do that in all the provinces and territories across the country? No, Mr. Speaker. I think uh, for eight years, for almost nine years now, Canadians have seen that our approach on the opioid epidemic is grounded in public safety, in uh, public health, uh, in compassion, in funding frontline workers, and doing things uh, that uh, work uh, to sa save lives and help people. And it is not to have some sort of secret plan, uh, as he proposes. But if he wants to talk about secret plans, he would probably do well to actually clear the air for Canadians about his uh, seeking for support amongst members of extremist white ring organizations like Diagonal.